Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. We are doing again the Hour of Python Coding Challenges. This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com and hopefully the Oxford challenge went really well for you guys. In this video, what we're gonna cover is the number of things challenge. This one is actually kind of cool. So take a try, take a stab at this. If you're watching this on YouTube, pop open your own command line on my website, code it right below this video. And uh, we're just gonna kind of jump right into this one, okay? So the problem basically says, if I give you something like, um, if I give the function how many a list that uh, that is a number like five followed by you know a string like trinket, it should say there are five trinkets. And if I give you something like one king, it should go there is one king. So this is kind of tricky, right? How do I take this list and then turn it into these human sentences that kind of make sense? That's tricky. Uh, and notice it even ends with a period. So how do we go about and do all this stuff? Well, one thing that's important for us to know is like how to concatenate strings, which is just a fancy way of saying, how do we put strings together? The things in the quotes. So if I have like a string that says hello, if I wanna add a period after it, I could just do something simple like this. Hello plus, that's the concatenation part, okay? Fancy word, remember that, because when you're at that job interview, you can impress them with this. But that plus sign is used to combine two strings, just like plus combines two numbers, right? One plus one. And it combined the hello and the period and turned it into one string. Not two strings, not three strings, one string, okay? So let's go back. Just like when you do one plus one, you don't get 11. Think of it like that. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna take anything that's greater, if anything is one, then I want you to return the singular version. And otherwise, I want you to return the plural version. We'll keep it simple. So I'm gonna say if, how do we index? Again, give this a try before you see my solution. And we are doing this live. So if I'm making any mistakes, I'm making it live, okay? We're not gonna like edit this because I want us to go through that process of thinking and how we kind of go about solving it. So if the first guy is uh, one, then what I would like to say is, um, there. I would like to say there is. So maybe I will say return there is, right? Um, and put a space here plus the list and then I'll actually get the number. And the number is not a string, it's an integer. So what happens when you try to combine a string with an integer? Well, let's see. If you have something like there are, and then I wanna add here, an integer, I get an error. An error says type error must be string, not int, means string can only combine other strings with it. They're not, they're, they have to be like terms, all right? So in this case, hell, um, there are is a string, but five is an integer, right? So what we want to do is we want to convert that five into a string. Then we could add it. And there's a function that allows us to do that. So as you can see, if I pass in string, if I pass in five to the function string, then the five turns into a string. So what I can do is just call string like this, and there you go. You get there are five and not that stupid type error that we got last time. So return there is, and then the list, we index a zeroth item. Zeroth item is gonna be the number they give us. So there is one, and then we wanna do plus again here, and we wanna wrap this in string, remember? And what I wanna say here is the last item, okay? So I can just do the list and then give me the last item like that. Or I could be fancy and do this. I'll put a negative one there that goes, wraps around, gets the last element, but we'll keep it simple. So I'll just say, give me the second element. Now, the only thing that we have to watch out for here is that we need to put that space, that all important space. So what we're gonna do is just do this, okay? And so this goes, there is space one space king. 
Okay, that's how it should read. And then what we'll do for the other one is pretty much the si similar thing. Okay. Else, we'll have the same statement except we'll switch it with their R. And then remember, we need to add a little S and a period at the end. Okay. So when we want to say king, we want to say kings, period. And we want to say trinkets, period. And here, we just want to say period, okay? Add a little, uh, little that guy right there. Okay. Let's give this a try and let's see what happens. I could be totally off here. There are five trinkets. There is one king. Five trinket. So five trinkets should give us there are five trinkets. And we get there are five trinkets. And how many one king should give us there is one king. And when we call that on line 19, we do get there is one king. All right, guys. We nailed this one. This one was beautifully done. We did a great job. Uh, if you didn't get it, that is totally fine. Just close this out. Come back 30 minutes later with a blank brain and try to do it on your own. A lot of the times when you're doing these coding challenges from scratch, they don't flow like how I'm doing this right now because right now Python is more of a language to me that is like English. I'm like thinking in it. For you, that might not be the same thing. You're, you're going to struggle with it. That's what would happen to me. And I would like literally be pulling my hair trying to solve these challenges, but just not give up. Uh, so there will, you know, that headache that you get from sometimes doing these problems is how how I think of it is literally your brain actually expanding. So don't take it as a bad sign. And if it takes you like two, three, four hours to actually solve this, that's not a bad thing at all. Okay. Don't be like, it took cause you like two minutes. It should take me the same time. No, of course not. I've done this more times than you have. Unless you're a C programmer, you probably smoke me too. But Hopefully this made sense. Hopefully you were able to solve this. You learned something new. Put your solutions in the comments below. I would love to check them out. And so would the other people in at Clever Programmer. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.